Hello, my name's James Hill. I'm the Area Housing Manager for the City South Housing Office. Um, Solihull House, the tower block, is actually situated in the Summers Town area. When we were designing the uh, project for the refurbishment of the block, we wanted to involve the residents in the community uh, as far as we could. We knew there'd be a point in the project where the block would be entirely empty uh, and the contract would be ready to start on site. And because of the nature of the works, we would need to fence the area uh, to secure it for safety reasons. Um, and that's really where the community art project, the idea, stems from. The community, uh, this is where the people are living. This is a large house which has remained empty or the tenants haven't been removed for some time. And if the community are involved in any project, particularly an art project, like this project like this, then we find that they take a stronger interest in what's being done. And the people's opinions and the people's work, in this case the painting, is as important as any councillors or any individual expert on telling them what they want. Our organisation is called the Art and Soul Traders. Uh, we're based at Victoria Lodge Art Centre in Victoria Park. Uh, we're lovingly known as the Artful Lodges, that's our nickname. We mainly um, pa do participatory based artwork, which means getting the community involved at every stage and teaching them, training them, letting them be part of the actual project and commission itself. The brief of the Artful Lodges was really simple. We just had these blank uh, canvases and we wanted them to engage the community in these types of events to create the community art. Um, and this will be then hung at uh, Solihull House for the next 12 to 18 months. We got the community involved in this project by going around uh, certain community centres, uh, youth clubs, uh, churches, schools, uh, telling them about the project, leaving uh, pamphlets there with a choice of six murals on there that you could tick your favourite kind of design. Talking about other designs that other places have done, flicking through books, uh, coming up with a general theme of uh, what they think they would like to see around their environment. So our consultation involves all across the community, from the very young in push chairs and buggies, right up to the senior citizens who have a lot to say about their community, who would like to see certain things. So we've taken six murals which we hope visually give some idea and representation of what the people are thinking and what they're hoping and maybe some of their aspirations, particularly the young. We've got six giant murals to do, all 15 foot by 8 foot. Uh, we've got two in the Brook Club, two in the South Sea Community Centre and two in the King's Church in Elm Grove. The themes of the six murals are an underwater scene, a scene from film, particularly youth film, and this painting behind me is two white cranes and there are three murals which are all really from the community designed, drawn out, painted, under our guidance, but basically community ideas. This painting is a, a silhouette painting. That's a, a picture of Lord of the Ring. The reason I chose that is a colorful, colorful picture and is a famous story, an old story and I think many people recognize that. That's why I did that. The design here, we have uh, underwater theme. Um, people chose that. A lot of people ticked it because they've um, seen the one in North End that we've done previously, and also through the books. It was a nice, friendly kind of. Uh, lots of people like dolphin images. Obviously, uh, we've started this 
needed three coats of washes for the background to get that fine gradient toning going on. Uh, then you just build on top of it with the dolphins uh, and then the coral at the bottom. Hopefully when it's finished the idea is to have the image from a distance it will look like a fish tank with fishes in and dolphins etc and the sunlight shining through it. The mural I'm painting is um, behind me here. It consists of two white cranes. Uh, hooping cranes, very rare birds, very large, one of the largest of the crane family, very graceful. And what I wanted to do was to show the bird leaving the ground, but also moving at the same time. And I think this is, for me, parallel with the community project here. This building has remained empty, dormant. We want to give it some form of life. We need to give it a symbol, which something which raises it up. And these birds have an historical social value particularly in other parts of the world where they are symbols of good health, longevity, hope, and a little towards the rising of the phoenix. Falcon like loves people, like um, groups of kids like painting and like getting together and knowing each other and having new friends. And I think it'd be a really good idea if we like do that because they like, stand out, people like, look at it and say, oh, I know they've done that and that I was there when it got painted. Because sometimes it's a bit grey, but it'll bring it up. park and I painted it in, so that's what um, I would like around here, a park. I've done some letters and one of the people has helped me to um, actually go over it and teach me how to do it properly and um, Hannah over there has helped me do some petals. There's nothing like really to look around here, look at, something to stop and actually look at because most of the time all it is is graffiti, nothing else to look at. At the end of the project, the grand finale, we're having a fun day in the Southsea Community Centre uh, where all the boards will be on display. A uh, few will be uh, able people to join in and finish them. There'll be face painting, nail painting, uh, tarot reading, uh, free food and drink and generally a good fun day for everyone to enjoy who's been involved in the project. We get vandalised like nearly everything else does, but we know that we've done something for Summerstown. So, to make it brighten up a bit, so, helps us a little bit as well, so really, it's good. Yeah, after this I think I'll, I would do more painting. I think it would be like good because they, I know I was there at the time and I painted it. But in my mind, I think it's, it's going to stay there for one day, yeah, and people like graffiti on it, and I'm like, I don't want that really um, getting destroyed because it's like someone who done this for this building, and like, it's like something that can stand out from Summerstown instead of like saying that it's boring, don't have to like look at. But this is like something that we have done together. I am going to take people to go and see it and show them what bits I've done so they can see it. Um, I'm going to. Um, Take my mum down to um, Solio and, and tell them what we did at King's Church. 